Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Phoenix Point. Peterloo Town is under attack, um, probably by this lair, uh, so we're on our way to try and help them. Attacking force is only worth 12, unlike this one which had like 23, so this should be relatively straightforward. Then we can move on in and kill that lair afterwards. Uh, we're going to get some, some good stuff out of this. Uh, New Jericho is not going to like us for this. Um, and he's going to like us a little bit less, but overall, I'm I'm fine with that. So everyone is pretty much as good as they can be because we unfortunately lost our stores in uh, in the start of the last episode. Very very frustrating. Um, but yeah, let's um, let's send them in, and uh, we'll see what magic they can perform. This is our rapid response team, after all. Here we go. Of course, it's night time. Stealth insertion. Okay, we're looking to protect structures. I think we'll mostly focus around this. Oh, this is horrible. All right, the very first thing I want to do is I want to get my ranged weapon guy up top. Because if we're going to do anything with grenades or rockets, then it needs to be from a decent vantage point. Okay, and we're already seeing Chiron, um, who I would like to kill sooner rather than later. Where is our sniper? We get to here. We can apparently see it, and we could rage burst it right from the start. I'm going. I reckon that's a reasonable, reasonable shot on the abdomen. Okay, three, three hits. I think we might just keep moving up and pummeling this thing. Although at 36 damage a time, it's probably not going to be worth it for you to actually take a shot. Come in here with your priestly ways. You're 36 as well. That's not great. But between the two of them, they got pretty good. Uh, I'm ready. Pretty good micro. Oh, 48. Yeah, that's going to be much, much better. It's actually tempting to push you down to like here. Let's go to there. Okay, we've got our first, first proper enemy. I say proper enemy. I mean, the Chiron is, of course, a proper enemy, but. I'm yeah, let's, let's move just a tiny bit further forwards. I think that's going to be. It's going to be the best we can do. So he's alert. He's going to step forwards and. A little bit of a ding, return fire. No, he's out of range. Shotgun. Ow. In the head. Oh, you return fire on on him. I mean, that wasn't a terrible return fire, so I'm not going to complain. But Oh, hello. 
So these guys have got a lot of mobility. Okay, we need to sort out your healing. So let's do that first. Who can we control? Oh, we can control the fireworms, of course. Uh, well, we could mine crush the fireworms and injure these guys. Which actually feels a little bit better. If we step to here. Let's do this. Pain Chameleon, come closer? Sure. Right, up on top. Boom Blast. Rocket. Aww. Feels like a bit of a stretch. Give it a go. Well, we hurt one of them, uh, and we're going to carry that on with grenades down here. Let's get it on these two, actually. So one is definitely dead. He's probably quite injured. And he's got no proper weapons. I mean, he can spit poison, but that's not going to be much use. You, I would kind of like you to get rid of that worm first. Good, solid shooting in his face. Oh, he's got a tiny bit left in his head. Well, now he's properly neutered. Oh, I see there's this glass right in front of us. Alright, let's let's switch back to our regular shooting. We can do another rage burst on the Chiron. Get that abdomen taken care of. Let's aim a little bit lower this time. He didn't quite manage it. Still pretty impressive though. So how much they got left on that abdomen? Four. My word. It's a real shame we can't quite do enough damage with this. Yeah, if that's all we can do. He still has a weapon. And more fireworms coming in. Alright, his abdomen's disabled now. So, there's that at least. Okay, so... You've got 17 willpower. How much health have you got? 180. We can take care of all the worms and hurt him and whatever's on the other side of this. So 
that's pretty good. Then, Steady. seeing as we're in the room with this guy, like seriously, how much health have you got left, mate? I'm ready. Right there. Target down. Okay, he's gone. I think this will be the siren. So we're going to hit it quite heavily with like everything that we can. That is not a siren. Whatever it is, is pretty injured. Let's get this done. That is not a siren. Whatever it is, is pretty injured. I mean, we could grenade over here at this guy, but I think this is now the biggest threat. Okay, he's gone. Let's move you up a bit. Target detected. Yeah, he's still got weapons. How much... His legs are disabled, so he's, he's a bit screwed, but... I think it's going to be a dash... Dash shotgun. Then again... It could be a dash blast retreat. Preparing to fire. Yeah. So definitely a bit of an issue going on. Ahead. Let's charge you in on this side. We're probably going to lose someone to mind control this turn, but if we take this out quickly, maybe with a rage burst, um, it'll be okay. Heading out. So this thing's now probably going to start retreating. Oh crap, there's another one. Right, we got really lucky with that. Okay, that's unexpected. I'm here. Unexpected could be good though. We step down and we do a massive cannon blast. Hi! Allow me to take care of this problematic head of yours. Okay, that did 150 damage, but it wasn't in the head. Oh, it was in the head. Nah. Okay, so we're going to need a bit more than just that. Advancing. Really want to get that killed. Five by five. But probably not with you knowing that we have another I'm ready. Chiron that we have to take care of.
how much willpower have you got left? You've got nine left. If we take off that head, we can take you. And it won't even be an issue. Yeah. Okay. So. You can do mind control. Let's get you to the door. Running. You can see it? Good. We're not going to mind control it just yet. We're going to step in, destroy its head, and then mind control it. So now we can mind control it for free. And you can get eyes over on this for us. There it is. You can see that one. If we move you across. You can't see the other one, just can't get an angle on it, apparently. Well, we wouldn't be able to rage burst anyway. I'm on my way. But we can at least have a look at the potential angle. Yeah, it must be like just round that corner. So let's shoot this in the leg. That'll get it bleeding out. We want to move everyone else as far forwards as possible in cover. Here come the explosives. Yeah, even with cover, this is going to be quite painful. I'm surprised this thing is still alive. And it got away. Damn it. Oh dear, right, yeah, you need major healing. Focus. Focus. So that explosion must have like gone right through or something. You're not gonna get close enough to be useful this turn. Get right up in there. Let's see how much will parrot's got left. 19, so we're not really going to be able to just take it. No, we can mark it for death and do a sniper shot on it, though. I just need the right angle. Okay, try and go for the head. No. It's a real shame because you've got the shotgun. We can dash out and take a shot with the cannon. Might stun it. No, at least it does a fair amount of damage. Let's 
dash you out. Aiming. Steel. Bit more damage. Dash then into cover. Over here. We can't quite do the same, but we can step out and take a shot. Moving to position. All right, it is it is pretty injured. It's just a shame you're not going to really be able to do anything to it. I mean, we can we can try blasting it through here. Hey, shot it through the glass. Okay, that's a problem. So you're back. We need to eliminate you. There's this guy and something else down here. Um, let's actually just take this guy. I would like you to scout for me. Hello. Alright, well, seeing as we have a shotgun. I'm here. I'm trying to aim. Yeah, let's center mass it. Pain chameleon, of course. But we know he's right there. So. That makes things a bit better for us. Just keep putting putting bullets on her, I think. She should go down very quickly. Ready. And in fact, if I bring you to here. How's the shooting look on this? That's pretty good, actually. That probably would have been more sensible to lead in with. Okay, and um, we know that there's that guy there. We're not really going to get angles on him, so... Running. Let's get into some cover. Everyone's a little bit injured, so I think it's time for us to start... Uh, let's actually pull you back to here. I'm on my way. Uh, healing people up next turn. All right, he is back with them, and we are miles away. Okay, you're not injured, so let's just think about what we're going to do with you. Yeah, try and kill his arm. That gets rid of one weapon threat. And then back up a little bit further. 
because that's what snipers do. Over here, you're not badly injured. Apparently, stepping across here will actually give you a line of sight. Here we go. Ready to fire. That did nothing. Should have just stuck with the grenades. Over here, you're not actually injured. Let's uh, run you out. Get in a position to help out next turn. Over here, you're you're injured and you're let's say low, which is always a bit concerning. Yeah, he's got quite a lot of armor on his torso. Get behind hardcover. And over here, we don't have the willpower to dash round and do stuff, so recover. Counter ten. Three. That'll give us a little bit to play with next turn. Right there. So he's struggling, he's struggling, he's struggling. We can dash around, we can obliterate one of them easily. And then walk back behind a bit of cover. And that will also give us visibility for our sniper. And if I've messed it up, we can just walk back around. I'm annoyed it stopped us early on that. Very annoyed. Okay, head is 20 armor. Let's yeah, go for the arm. How much willpower have you got? One. Oh, mate. It is not your day. So I'm going to take you. And then you're going to kill your mate. In the arm, no less. Can we snipe from down here? We might need to move, even, even move. Oh, moving, we might be able to see. Give it a go. Because I would quite like to get it finished if possible. Yeah, shoot him in the leg. So we've ended up with an arson mind control. People are injured, which is frustrating. But it's to be expected in, in these situations. But overall, I think we did okay. And we do get resources for this, so there is that working for us. We don't get to keep the um, uh, the Triton, though. Ooh, Sonic Shock Grenade. And a Spider Pistol. I mean, this is, this is good because if nothing else, this gives us a whole bunch more stuff that uh, we can salvage up. Uh, yeah, you guys are a little bit injured but I think overall you're fine so we could we could send them in and start them off taking this lair out I would like them to have a time no let's let's get them the healing that they deserve and let's make a few more of those damn nice shredding shotguns because I'm sure we're going to need those. Harrowers, that's them. 
so we'll get three more of those going. Okay, that's the scan right up at the top. Uh, which has revealed one, two new bits that we didn't know about. So you guys are training, effectively. Uh, you're on your way back and you're heading up as well while we've got nothing else going on around here. One harrower is done. And it's going to go to you. Okay. The antediluvian proto-civilization. The archaeological evidence we've collected points to a startling conclusion. Civilization on our planet first arose a much longer time ago than commonly believed. More than two million years ago, in fact. This globe-spanning civilization was created by a race of advanced hominins that preceded Homo sapiens, reaching a significant level of technological development before being destroyed by an unknown force. Small groups of these hominins survived for some time after the fall of their civilization, intermingling with Homo sapiens and passing along the elements of their language and history, which formed the basis of the flood of myths that are so common in cultures around the world. Could the unknown force that destroyed the antediluvians have been the Pandora virus? And if so, how did the rest of the planet survive? We must find out more. We get 10% extra experience from missions and training. Based on reconstructing Symes writing about the antediluvian civilization, there are two potential sites that match the description in Symes notes, but it's impossible to know which one is the right one. The coordinates for both have been uploaded into our system. Okay, so the first one is down in South America. And the second one is, well, actually relatively close. So that's... That's probably going to be worth us sending someone to have a look at. After after they've rested. Definitely after they've rested. Uh, Helios is nearly back. There we go. Right, uh, that is unfortunately all we have time for for this episode. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed this. And apologies that I just skipped through that. I was trying to pause it. And unfortunately, that counts as an acceptance thing. Definitely something that uh, they should think of changing. If you are enjoying these videos, be sure to give a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so. And you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for some more Phoenix Point. See you soon.